females have lacked representation as instrumentalists in a lot of ways. But at least it felt like that when I was learning how to play because I, I, I didn't start playing guitar lead right away just because I, I don't know, I just didn't feel like that was something I saw very often. I mean, you have, you have like a few, but it's not as widespread, obviously, right? I mean, it's, it's very much like small number kind of niche. <laughs> No, I hate, I hate when people would throw the words novelty or gimmick at me because it was so offensive, you know, to be, uh, you know, working so hard on something and for it to be kind of, you know, it's kind of a degrading term a little bit, like it's a, you know. Um, I mean, the industry itself is, you know, that's a whole other conversation, you know, when you're talking about business and why there aren't more women in the forefront, you know, that's more of an industry conversation. But if you're considering whether or not to pick it up at all, I'd say do it, you know. Just because the, it's not in your face doesn't mean it doesn't exist. You just have to look for it. Yeah. But for me, it's like you just, you, you have to get rid of that stigma to it. And if you really enjoy it, if it's in your heart, then you got to play, you know? And, and there's, no, there's no female or male version of how to play the guitar. We're all just people. We all have 10. If we're lucky, we have 10 fingers. And um, our gender doesn't affect how they move on the strings, you know? It's like just play what's in your heart. And your unique voice, regardless of your gender or where you come from or if you have money, if you're poor, if you're black, white, it's, it's your unique voice that comes out on the guitar. It doesn't matter. All that other stuff doesn't matter. dropped this one down to open G and a lot of my inspiration when I first started playing licks wise I mean came from classic rock but then I really you know I'm, I am a blues player to my core I, I you know I studied a lot of blues um, but I really fell in love with North Mississippi and that whole fat possum roster and then contemporary guys like the all-stars who are killing it right now but guys like Arl Bernstein Junior Kimbrough and then you go even further back into Delta music and um, you know, I was really into like Skip James and Charlie Patton. Um, but I think one of my, my big licks I learned first, and some kind of a hybrid between North Mississippi but R.L. Burnside. I think the reason I liked it was because it was, um, I was so into rock and roll and, and here's this like really raucous, impolite, raw, kind of punk sort of style, you know, that it, it, it neatness was not even close to counting, you know, it's just, it, it just made you feel something. And, and I think it was the closest thing, like, you know, to, to rock and roll that I felt, you know, in blues. It just, it's, it just is, it's just, there's something about it. But I, I love this, I just, I, I love the drone thing that happens uh, in that music where they hold down like the bass rhythm with, you know, with their thumb. 
So you end up getting this like really full percussive style of playing, and I, I just, you know, I, I still try to play like that, keep my thumb really active. But. Everybody, there's so many ways up the mountain when you're playing yeah. guitar. There's so many ways to learn, and, and it's like just finding what feels comfortable to you. I mean, I tell people all the time when you're talking about like hand technique, because I've had people come up and tell me my technique's garbage, and you know, or teachers, like that, you know, you're holding the guitar wrong, or it's not like, you know, like a, a professor might be like, that's not right, but everybody's got a different shape of hand, you know, and it's like whatever's comfortable for you. So I took vocal lessons from a college course, and I remember walking in there like really young and arrogant. Um, and I wasn't a good singer either. I just was like, hey, I, I want to get singing lessons, but I'm not here to like graduate or anything. I just want you to teach me how to sing. I don't need to go by the curriculum. Like, just, just show me what I need to know to be a singer. And he was like, oh, all right. And I, went, I did the entire syllabus. And I was like singing opera songs. Not the right place for me to be learning what I wanted to learn. You know, a lot of that stuff, I, I learned some valuable stuff in there, but it just wasn't, I couldn't really connect the dots at that time between classical operatic stuff and you know what I wanted to do was just like singing a rock and roll band. I'm like, why, what would I do this for if I just want to do this? But it all helps. It all helps. watching the vault sessions every view and subscription we get it helps us buy guitars for kids for every 100 dollars, you can buy a kid a guitar and 10 weeks of lessons you're hired click here to subscribe click here to watch more vault sessions and visit the website here perfect to learn more about the guitar for kids program i love it i love it thank you and we'll see you next week nailed it you got it yeah